Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Skyhop on Facebook. Lots of people have reported having issues using Inkscape. So I ask, and sure enough, people want videos for this, so let's get going. First, we're just going to use this little type tool, which is the A on the side there. Make sure that it all came out right. Now, I don't want that. I don't want just the standard uh, serif font. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to type the two starting letters. So there we go. Okay, so now they're all changed. Now let's click off of this, and let's grow this one. Maybe shrink it this way, because I don't want that day gone big. So after we grow these, I want to add in some clip art. Try to make them even. Okay. So if I want to go and I want to add in some clip art, I come right here. That's the import. So I'm going to grab this dragonfly butterfly. And this comes up and embed and then from file I just leave it right where it's at. So that's what comes out. Well, let's try saving this and see what we get. We got to always, always, always path, object to path, or you might run into some issues. File, save as. Let's do a butterfly welcome. Now let's head on over to Canvas here, and let's try to import that. Where's my little, right here. And let's see what happens. Ooh, there's the error S08. And look what happened. That little guy did not come over. Okay, we need to do something to it first before we can let it live in our file. Okay, I'm actually just going to right click, trace bitmap. Okay, so all of these cool things come up. You can do a brightness cutoff. Okay, which as you see, this is what happens. Okay, or you can come down here to edge detection. And if we go up, it should fade away. Yes, okay. We go down, it should make it a little bit darker. All right, so that looks okay. Let's click OK. And did you notice a solid black file came up? Okay, so I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to get rid of it because I know it won't work in my file. Let's try this one now, see if it works. Path. Object to path that will keep your sanity, trust me. Okay, let's do the, the copy in the same place. So let's replace it. All right, let's come back to Canvas. Let's get rid of this one. Click our SVG button and let's go see if that little change made a difference. Voila, there it is. This has to um, have that bitmap image in order for it to successfully transfer over. Um, now, I don't know if this is the correct case, but um, like for us that use scale, um, we don't ever really have an issue um, with getting things like this to import. But the thing is with this, what we were trying to import before was pretty much just the picture. Okay. And when you use the SVG button, you cannot do that, all right? It won't let you import an image. It has to be in the SVG, the Scalable Vector Graphic Format. And to be able to read that, it needs to be the bitmap image, okay? All right, so that's how you go about doing um, your different texts um, and then capturing an image if it gives you all those error messages, which is one huge reason... <laughs> I stopped using Inkscape and Canvas. I couldn't take it anymore. I was losing my mind. 